We're going to make the media pay for what they did to me. I can't go yeah. out into public. I can't go to the store. It's hard for me to go anywhere without security. I don't think I'll ever be able to work or get a job because I'm afraid an employer may not hire me. In an exclusive interview with Tucker Carlson, Kyle Rittenhouse is vowing to take legal action against those who labeled him a white supremacist. Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Will Kane joins us now to react. Good morning to you, Will. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. Does he have a case? I think yes, Kyle Rittenhouse does has, have a case. He has said, by the way, that Johnny Depp's victory last week in his defamation case has fueled him, has inspired him. We also look at the success of Nick Sandman, who filed a lawsuit, and now Kyle Rittenhouse employs the very same attorney against a whole host of media organizations from the Washington Post and New York Times to CNN. And now here comes Kyle Rittenhouse. So Rittenhouse, Ainsley, his legal analysis goes something like this. He became a public figure when he involved himself with Kenosha. That means he has to show whoever he sues, Facebook or a media organization, acted with actual malice or reckless disregard for the truth. I think that you and I could probably spend the next three minutes playing clips that quite clearly reflect a reckless disregard for the truth from numerous dozens of media figures who, and you and I have been doing this for a long time, Ainsley, and one of the things you're taught, or at least you have a moral compass within you to realize, you need to have some respect that you're trying to accomplish the truth. We say things like alleged murderer because we don't know until it is proven in a court of law. But in this case, we saw media figures say definitively, he is a murderer and he is a white supremacist with virtually no evidence to back up those claims. I think that adds up to reckless disregard for the truth. And I think in many of those instances, actual malice. Yeah, this is America. Everyone deserves due process until you're found guilty. And in this case, he was found not guilty. Mm -hmm. Just to remind you, he's suing for uh, defamation, but he says, he, mm -hmm. you said he has to prove act of malice or reckless disregard mm -hmm. of the truth. It might not be malice. Some of these journalists don't really know him, but reckless regard for the truth. He might have a case there. Mm -hmm. Listen to some of the media, what the media was saying about him before he even went to court. Kyle Rittenhouse, the armed teenage vigilante for whom Trump has been kind of sounding like outside counsel. Uh, Blue Lives Matter, social media uh, uh, partisan, 17 years old, picks up a gun, drives from one state to another with the intent to shoot people. Rittenhouse drove in from Illinois armed for battle. The jury bought the narrative of Kyle Rittenhouse being a victim. The fact that white supremacists roam the halls of Congress freely and celebrate this little murderous white supremacist and the fact that he gets to walk the streets freely. And now, as a result, Will, he says he can't live a normal right. life and future job opportunities were affected because of what the media was saying about him. Right. So, so and, and let's go back to those terms really quickly, Ainsley. Reckless disregard for the truth or actual malice. That's different from everybody watching at home who's a private citizen. Where if a media says something incorrect about you, negligence is enough. Just getting it wrong negligently is enough for you to have a cause of action. Mm -hmm. But if you're a public figure, which Kyle Rittenhouse became, then you have this higher standard. And you just heard that MSNBC host, for example, say, murderous little white supremacist, right? That is conclusive. That is a definitive statement that she cannot prove and has no evidence to back up. To me, that's not just reckless. That is malicious, Ainsley. And that right there demands accountability, demands accountability from a media that is supposed to be attempting to tell the truth. Well, you're a lawyer. What if she actually believes that? What if that's just her opinion? Well, you, you know, I don't think that's a reasonable, what somebody would say is that's a reasonable extrapolation from what she knew. She had pointed to that picture where he was in a picture with some, some alleged proud boys, you know, but I don't think it is a reasonable extrapolation. I think she was operating with malice intent, not trying to get to a reasonable kernel of truth. Okay, real quickly, what happens next? When does he go to court? Well, the, they have to file suit first. They haven't yet filed suit. Okay. We saw last night on Tucker's show that they are planning to, and possibly against Facebook as well. And then it takes the same course, for example, as Nick Sandman. All right. Maybe some of these media outlets will just settle. We'll see. Thank you so much, Will. You bet. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.